what's going on, family? Is it even necessary to have your degree or get your degree in the future before you or anyone else you know gets into any more student loan debt or starts school? We need to have a conversation about degree inflation. I'm Sean, and I'm joined by my co-host, Damien, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. Uh, Dame has uh, provided us with a PowerPoint presentation, so if you're listening to this on the audio podcast, I recommend you go over to YouTube so that you can review some of the information for yourself, pause it. Um, let's go ahead, Dame. Let's get into it. Yeah, thanks. Um, so we've been talking about a, a booming jobs market lately, uh, another 500,000 jobs added. Um, we're kind of getting close to where we were before the pandemic. Uh, earnings are up um, in both blue and white collar sectors and unemployment seems down. Um, overall, about 22 million jobs were lost during the pandemic and there's 11 million job openings right now. But the question is who can fill those? Um, about four out of 10 Americans, 25 years or older have a bachelor's degree and that's gone up 30% from 10 years ago. More women than men have degrees and that's increasing every day. And then about another 14% of Americans have a graduate or um, PhD, something else. Most popular degree is business. Um, and I think the biggest population of degree holders are Asian Americans. But so many Americans don't have any degree at all. And when a survey was done by the Pew Research Center about this and why they don't have one, um, one of the highest responses was that they didn't think they needed it for their job. But the fact is, that a lot of jobs require a degree, whether or not it's actually applicable to the position. I'm going to go through these slides and I encourage our viewers to go back and pause and uh, kind of review these statistics. So what is degree inflation? Well, there are more people with degrees in our workplace today. And part of that has had an effect on increasing a demand for new workers with bachelor's degree. So jobs that didn't always require a degree now require one. Some of that is cultural and some of it's also the nature of the jobs that are out there. They're changing. Um, there's a feeling that there are different competencies needed in modern jobs. You need more flexibility. You need more skills. And so there are there's kind of a feeling among people who are hiring that someone with a degree, it represents someone who um can see the world in a lot of different ways and is more flexible whether that's really true or not i think is, is up to debate um they favor college and universities over trade schools everybody knows uh the guy from dirty jobs and he's really spent a lot of his recent career getting people into trade schools um and what's happening is if you have a degree and less experience you're more likely to be hired over somebody who has great experience and no degree. The funny thing that this, this is creating something they call the degree gap. So the job postings are seeking people for with degrees, but the people who are currently in those jobs don't have degrees. Um, you're really noticing this after the pandemic because so many people are not coming back to work or retiring early. And those people had a lot of experience, but in filling the jobs, they're hiring younger people with degrees and no experience. And it's just something that has become um, just natural in our job hiring process. 60% of government jobs require a degree. Um, and overall, this creates a lot higher um, hiring cost, and it leaves a lot of good candidates on the side. This is mainly affecting what we call middle skill jobs. Um, administrative assistant, sales representative, support jobs, um, inspecting jobs, um, certain government jobs. Those jobs used to be synonymous with the middle class lifestyle, whether the middle class is around or not anymore is another debate. But now these jobs are hard to fill because everyone's looking for the same candidates. So how, how do we how do we fight this? What's what's happening? Um, particularly after the pandemic. Um, there's a move to promote what 
they refer to as stars, people who are skilled through alternative routes, trade schools, people who have on the job training, apprenticeships, but they don't have a degree. There are 71 million of these people who are actually overqualified for current job openings, but they just are disqualified because they don't have a piece of paper. And this is really happening in IT, customer service, hospitality. Those, those candidates are attractive because they're likely to have less than student loans. Some of them may have gone to school and then dropped out. You have to train them less. You, you're less likely to have to hire a supervisor to monitor them because they've already got experience. Uh, the average salary, starting salary for these jobs right now is about 77 grand. So these are good jobs that people really want. Employers have been learning a lot from the great resignation, which we're all familiar with, and the work from home phenomenon. They're desperate to hire people who are more likely to stay. They're desperate to hire people who will come to work and who are less likely to switch jobs. Uh, a lot of people with degrees over the past couple of years are staying uh, shorter periods of time before they switch a job. And so that costs you money. In the public sector, there are moves to remove these uh, degree requirements from jobs. Governor Larry Hogan of Maryland, he's someone they expect to run for president. He just removed the degree requirement from half of all state openings. Uh, in the private sector, IBM is a company that's also done this. The CEO of CVS has been a big proponent of this. He's gone around the country and talked to people encouraging them to look at the job openings they have and really ask, do they really need a degree or not? I listed some jobs right now that, that are opening up that don't always need degrees. A lot of them are in finance, payroll, accounts, uh, tax jobs, auditing. Um, and then uh, there's many in IT, administration, hospitality and restaurants and hotels and legal jobs, lots and lots of legal jobs, paralegals, legal assistants, clerks, stenographers. There are openings all over the place and they're desperate for people. So I think where with the economy the way it is, people are revisiting the old ways of doing things. Uh, and, and with retirement, with people retiring and just not coming back to work, this is an opportunity for those who have a lot of skills, who are hardworking, who are reliable and have experience to, to make some money. And you may not need to get, get into significant college debt to do so. So I think it's exciting for those people. Right. And all you people who are just lazy and say you're doing quiet quitting, you don't need to do that. You can just, you can just go find a different job and somebody will pay you money for you to just be yourself and be happier. So stop being lazy and saying you're quite quitting. Just go find another job. But this is a great opportunity for people because the workforce is changing. The demographics are changing. We, we have a, a much older population. They're coming out of the workforce. Um, they've looked at life a little bit differently. Um, so this is I think this was really great information. Um, did you did you want to provide them with anything else before uh, we got out of here? We're going to we're going to link to some articles. Um, in this video and what I'd really like to know from people, I'd, I'd love to know if you're in a business that has been having this issue, if uh, it's affected you personally, uh, if there's another sector that we didn't mention here, we'd love to know about it. Uh, or, or if you're someone who's hiring and you're, and you're having trouble getting anybody, we'd love, we'd love to know about it. That's that'll help us create content for the future. Awesome. You guys can uh, email, email us below or leave something in the comments. We'll catch you on the next video. Thank you.